safe Obama. I'm going to change that to safe. If uh, other, aside from the fact that them, that Obama is winning the polls fairly big, if you look at the the Senate race in New Mexico, both Colorado and New Mexico have Senate races with people named Udall running on the Democrat ticket, and they're both going to win. Uh, in New Mexico, it's much safer, and I think New Mexico will definitely go for Obama. Montana, Montana, interesting. It's interesting the fact that it is a swing state in the first place. I still think it will probably go from, go to McCain, so I will keep it leaning McCain, although I certainly don't think it's safe McCain. Same thing with North Dakota. McCain will probably win it. He's still up in the polls by a little bit, maybe even in the polls, even in the strongest Obama moments. Again, in a landslide, North Dakota could fall to Obama, but probably McCain will win, will win North Dakota. Minnesota. Minnesota is something that throughout the season, is, there have been some polls that have come out that have showed Obama up by 10, 12, 15 points, even when McCain was strong. Then there have been other polls that have shown an even race, even when Obama has been strong. Minnesota has been a very strange polling, polling state, but it also has an important Senate race between Al Franken and Norm Coleman. The incumbent, the kind of thing that Coleman would probably be double digits uh, up, if not for the fact that it's such a weak Republican year, and and the fact that Obama is doing so very well. If if Franken wins, he will have Barack Obama's coattails to thank for that. But in any case, in a year like this, Minnesota, which never goes Republican anyway, is not about to start in a year like this. Minnesota is now safe Obama. Iowa. Iowa was a swing state from the outset, but it has leaned Obama ever since. Even when McCain was strong, he never took the lead in Iowa in a single poll. It is a state that gave Obama his jump in the Iowa caucuses way back in the frigid air of January. It will go Obama, no question. Missouri. Missouri is a bellwether state. It has voted with the winner every year, every election since 1956, and the o- in 1956 was the only time Missouri cast its elo- electoral ballot with the loser since I think it was like 1912 or something like that. Missouri has been one of the best bellwether states in the country. Uh, it had been polling for McCain. This looked like the first time that Missouri might poll, you know, might vote for the losing candidate. However, recently Obama has taken the lead. If Obama wins significantly, which it seems like he will, Missouri will probably be part of that tide. Missouri probably leans two or three points closer to McCain than the national average does, but with the national average being seven points or eight points or at least five points in favor of McCain, um, that is still plenty of cushion for Obama to win Missouri. I'm going to say leaning Obama. If it swings back towards a much closer race... Uh, then there is no question that um, that then then uh, then perhaps Missouri could be in play again. Wisconsin, Wisconsin, something that should and could be a swing state in many years, definitely a swing state in 2004. A little trivia question for you. Well, now that not, you'll, I guess you'll know the answer from the question. Which was the closest significant state in 2004? The answer is not Ohio. Wisconsin was much closer than Ohio was in 2004. Much closer than Pennsylvania. Wisconsin was, I think, the single closest state uh, with Kerry winning it only by a very, very slender margin. Nevertheless, Obama did very well in the primaries. Obama has done very well in the polling. Obama will take Wisconsin. Michigan is something that McCain should have done well in, based on his based on just the factors in general. You're talking about a state that is fairly socially conservative. A lot of working class people, a lot of people that um, you know, not very high African American population, other than around the Detroit area. It's something that McCain could have been competitive in. He pulled out of he pulled it basically pulled out of Michigan a couple of weeks ago, thinking that it was hopeless. It is solid Obama. Indiana. Indiana, a state that, in theory, for Republicans, should never be in play. It has not been in play in a long time. Obama has done very well in the last couple of weeks. It's part of the tide, part of the extreme tide in this region of the country, in the Rust Belt region that has shifted very heavily in favor of Obama in the last few weeks, Really, spear, that has really spearheaded the nationwide uh, turn in favor of Obama. Indiana is now a toss-up state. I'm going to leave it as a toss-up. I'm not even going to put it as leaning McCain. I've seen a a couple of polls that have Obama in the lead. If Obama wins, if if the election were held today, I think Indiana would be a true toss-up. Ohio, clearly leaning Obama. McCain has to have Ohio. He will not win the election without Ohio. Right now, it is leaning Obama. I have to to give it to Obama in terms of the probabilities. Pennsylvania, a huge state. 
if McCain was going to do well in this election, I mean, do anything other than hold on by the skin of his teeth, and if he was going to have any margin for error in other region, regions in the country, the southeast, the southwest, he had to do well in Pennsylvania. Doesn't look like he will. Down double digits in most of the polls. He is even doing well in rural areas in western Pennsylvania. It's simply not a very likely scenario for McCain to do well in Pennsylvania. I'm not going to put it solid. McCain is still has a heavy presence. I'm still going to le leave it as leaning Obama, but I would be very, very surprised if McCain made Pennsylvania very competitive. New Hampshire. Polls are still relatively close in many areas in New Hampshire. McCain has a quote-unquote special relationship with New Hampshire. He won the, Democrat, the Republican primary in 2000, gave George W. Bush quite a scare uh, during that, uh, beat him by 17 points, won again this year in the, in the Republican presidential primary. Nevertheless, New Hampshire is part of the Northeast. It is trending Democrat very heavily. I don't think that McCain has a chance, and I will change it to solid Obama. I don't think McCain has a chance unless there is a dramatic shift in the polls. Virginia. Virginia is something that is traditionally a very heavy Republican state. has not cast its ballots for a Democrat since 1964, when Barry Goldwater got swamped by Lyndon Johnson. This year, Obama up by over eight points in the Real Clear Politics average in the 538 uh, prediction. Um, he has n McCain has not been ahead in a poll in Virginia in weeks. This was one of the areas where he, McCain was doing very well when he when he first uh, chose pa chose Sarah Palin. Right now, it is trending very heavily toward Obama. I'm not going to put safe Obama, but I definitely think it's leaning Obama. Same with North Carolina. Very surprisingly, this is the kind of state that you figure at worst would be a toss-up. Right now, Obama has taken has, to, has had the lead in almost every poll in the last couple of weeks. I'm tempted to leave it as a toss-up simply because it's a tr really traditional Republican state. Right now, you've got to look at the polls, you've got to look at the trends, and I'm going to put it as leaning Obama. Georgia, I think, on the other hand, I'm still going to leave as leaning McCain. Uh, even in the, even recently, with the heavy Obama surge, I don't know if I've seen any polls that have had Obama in the lead. I think that McCain will still win Georgia. I think that if the election gets closer, you'll see Georgia drop off the area of a toss-up state and, and back into the firm uh, McCain column. But for the time being, heavy African-American turnout, um, you know, very strong Democratic trend. It's possible for Georgia to come into play. I'm still going to put it leaning McCain. Florida, another state that McCain has to win. He cannot win this election without Florida, and as of right now, he will lose it. He has been behind in virtually every poll in the last couple of weeks. Right now, he is facing a long uphill climb in that state. So right now, if you look at my trend over here. I have Obama Biden at 359, McCain Palin at 163. You're talking about a landslide. You're talking about a victory of almost 163 votes. An electoral landslide, they say, is 375 or more. And if we give Obama Biden my two toss-up states, if we, then he would have exactly 375. Well, okay, either way. Um, then he would have exactly 375. Even without Nevada, even if we change Nevada and Indiana back to toss-ups, even if McCain wins both of those states, it would still be a very comfortable victory for the Obama ticket. And, of course, you know, that is right now. But the, the interesting thing about this lead for Obama-Biden is that it's almost like he has a double-layered safety net right now. This election probably will at some point get closer in the next week and a half. Look, who knows, maybe the stock market will go up this week. Maybe there'll be some good news on some front. Maybe there'll be a scandal. Who knows? I mean, people at the last second might start to have buyer's remorse on Obama, which has happened during the primaries and, uh, you know, at various other points during this campaign. But even if there's a swing toward McCain, what would that do? If there's a swing toward McCain, perhaps that would put Florida back to toss-up status. Perhaps that would put Ohio back to toss-up status. Perhaps that would put North Carolina back to toss-up status. Maybe it would change Missouri to leaning McCain status. But that's really about it. Right now, I don't see Virginia, Pennsylvania, or Colorado flipping very easily. Uh, even if McCain does everything that I just mentioned, that still only gets Obama that still only gets Obama down to two eighty six. You only need two seventy. Even if he loses Virginia, which I don't think is going to happen, 
He's up. I thank you very much for listening. Once again, if you have any comments, please feel free to leave it. And uh, have a wonderful day, everybody.